and then we lost to Kamaro and D Money. Yeah. And then we beat Balanced and Rune. Atta boy. Yeah. Yeah, we were playing with um King Ben and, and Down for the Cause earlier. Me and uh Sinbu were warming up and nice. like they're a good team. Like they are yeah. definitely I definitely, definitely had to pop off a little bit when I beat Cause though. Because yeah, A that. A you know how bad I am against Fox and B like But we, I mean didn't you didn't you have to beat King Ben to win it though? I do, but I, I had oh. to beat both of them technically. Okay. Yeah. Because I had to kill down for the cause immediately yeah. after he up smashed. Otherwise, I would add a two v one. No way, I'm doing they that. They went to a mega town in city. Mark, why? <laughs> 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 All right, this is not going to be the thing. <laughs> I blame you anyway. All right, guys, excuse me for a second while I uh, tweet out the stream here. All right, so um, rip uh, gold team or yellow team, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, Sander. gold team rules. Sander, we miss you. I love you. Um, so now the now Marshall's new side partner is Bonds. Um, probably gonna be number three on our next PR. Who? Bonds. Oh yeah. Ah, I mean, maybe even higher. Me, him or Comet. I don't think Comet will be that high that fast. To be honest, he'll be top five. I think. I think he will be top five. I just don't know if second. Yeah. Or third. No, no. I was I was saying third. Because it's gonna be Pow Pow, Marshall, yeah. Fonz. Yeah. Unless Fonz, he, he he said on his Twitter, guaranteed. Fonz made the the Fonz guarantee that he will win Tails of Jank. Oh, okay. So I see how it is. Okay, so getting into uh, game one, still best of three, and getting into trade into Town City, no Smashville. Cause I know uh, the Lotto Brothers, Fonz and Ray do not like Smashville. I definitely thought you said Mulatto Brothers, and I'm like, isn't that a little politically incorrect, Fonz? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> so yeah, we're here in Town of City, as Papal mentioned, and uh, this is actually interesting because uh, Fonz normally teams with his, his brother, as you mentioned. Um, he's not here today, and Marshall with Xander, so they're both really good teams players, but they don't have the experience. Okay, so the thing is, actually, Fonz is Marshall's uh, static double partner. Okay. Marshall wants... Like, I, I, I don't know if him and Ray are still going to team at times, but I know Marshall wants him to be his partner for yeah. the most part. Partially so, because other than, like, Marshall and then probably Xander, Fonz is probably the best team's player. Like, you put him with anybody, and you're probably going to do good. Yeah, you know? especially in, in Wisconsin. And so oh. the up-smash coming through from D-Money. Th that's deal. one thing that um, I was talking to these guys while they were practicing, like, while they are gearing up for this match, and uh, they said that they were going to watch out for dash grabs. Um, and also to not overextend. So they're going to watch out for dash grab, spot dodge, and get up smashes, and then they're going to not overextend themselves. So watch out for, like, normally D Money gets, like, miles and miles off of Bowser Jr.'s follow ups, but uh, yeah, look for a little bit less aggression from him this time. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed about him is he gets a little bit too overzealous at times, which ends up hurting him. Like, he'll go out to big leads, and then he'll start just throwing smash attacks. And you can just kind of wait and just, like, because Bowser Jr.'s smash attacks are pretty laggy. Yeah, like his forward stuff. smash is deceptively lagless, um, but all the rest of them you can definitely punish pretty well. Yeah. So uh, Fon's still holding on to his first stock here. Right. And he's yeah, only healthy at 125. And that's, I mean, that's actually something that is different from normal because when the Lotto brothers, when Ray and Fon's team together, normally Ray is the one who's stock tanking. Yeah, I, th I think maybe we're kind of seeing a reversal. Like, uh, you'll notice with a lot of double teams, though, both players can play both roles, right. like aggressor and stock tanker, which is really important for a static oh, team. Good you're going to be a lot of Yeah, play, being able to be dynamic in those roles, because, you know, if you have a couple of bad bounces to the ball, um, you know, you may be down to one stock and your partner still has three, so it'll be vitally important for you to be able to settle into that stock tank role while your partner is in catch up mode. Yeah, so. Up Smash will probably do it for both Yoshi and Bowser Jr. right now, but Up Smash from Diddy will also do it, and Up Smash from Mario. Okay. Yeah. All, actually, all I'll four smash. characters have amazing Up Smashes as far as kill potential. That is true. Like, like D-Money's has, the mo like, has like a deceptively large range. Uh, Yoshi's is Fox's Fox Up Smash Light. <laughs> Just not quite as good. Yeah. Do you see that bravery from Bond? That, he knows B right Bonds when he can get in on that. Bond is fearless, though. Like he, he, that's actually gotten him in a trouble a couple times in, in the past where he just goes for stuff because he's like, this is going to work. And he just, I believe it. He, like, yeah, he, he believes in himself. Which is important. Yeah, he's he's absolutely fearless. So we're seeing a pretty solid lead from the team right now. Pretty first much real, a first team, team hit players. that we've seen like actually from these guys. They've been doing a really good job of playing around each and other. Oh, oh wow, wow, the follow-up. That wouldn't have killed, but Kamaro's yeah. like, yeah, no, I'm going to make sure this yeah. you go I'm down. I'm up here. I'm waiting. I'm ready. So after holding on to his third stock for the longest amount of time, um, Fonz now finds himself losing his second stock rather quickly compared to what we were expecting. Is that going to do it for Yoshi? No. no. Luckily, he had his duck and jump. Uh-oh. So down to the 2v1. I don't see good things happening for Yoshi here. I know he's a big fat dinosaur, but you have two. Yeah. You have three stocks to take, high percentage. Yeah, I mean, like, Yoshi can move around with his aerial 
ability, but like, it's gonna be a lot of chip damage, and I don't know if he's necessarily gonna have the time to get all that in. Basically, like, what I'm expecting from these guys is to try for a team combo to finish it. The only way that Kamara wins this is if they massively screw up and kill themselves. And Marshall SDs, yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't worry about it. Or Fon's SDs. He's been known to have that happen a couple of times. So even though it's difficult for Mario to do that, uh, it's, it's I mean, if you like, happen. If you try to run off fair and then, like, you go TB, yeah. You accidentally fast fall. No, like, you don't even have to fast fall. Like, there's just so much, like, start up and end lag on it that, like, it could kill you early. So... So game one goes to uh, Fonz and Marshall. Relatively quick game one, mm -hmm. also, to be honest. Like, it was like, what, like 3.45 left on the clock by the yeah, end of that? Yeah, it was, it was Oh, and this was, this was the great highlight that we saw, because that wasn't yeah. going to kill. And then Kamaro just comes in, and he's like, you know, man, um, let me pick this up for you. Yeah. Let, let me get you. the oop. Like, I got you. So um, going into game two, where do you think that our red team's going to try to go? I mean, I, I they did I okay there. Um, I would like to – I was going to say a try platform. Mm -hmm. I go to the only reason I like Dreamland is because uh, mm. Yoshi is so good at killing off the top. I guess. So, like, I would go to Battlefield where Yoshi and Bowser Jr. are going to live forever, and Mario up B combos aren't going to be as potent. I suppose. I mean, the, the ceiling isn't a gigantic difference. I mean, Dreamland has the same ceiling as Smashville as FD. Um, so, I mean, it's not a huge difference. The platforms are high in the air, so it brings them closer to the blast zone. But to be honest, I think the tri platform is going to work for them. Um, and. I think they're having a harder time actually finding KOs than they were, you know, surviving. So I think this is going to their benefit more than the opponent's uh, restriction. Yeah, you're seeing uh, D-Money actually camping off more than usual. Like he, he's staying under the platforms and waiting for a blue team to come at him. I think he's trying to be more the stock tank in this situation. Yeah. Now, I mean, that's actually not a, a bad strategy because I will, like, and this is my opinion, obviously, as a Wisconsin uh, caster and player and just all around um, viewer of the scene. I think D-Money might be the best edge guarding player in Wisconsin. Edge guarding? Yeah, I think he might have the best edge guards. Like, if you if you go off stage against him, that's a mistake. Okay. Um, and so that's something to keep your eye out for because he hasn't had a lot of chances. These guys have been good at covering each other coming back onto the stage and stuff like that. There are so many times where someone will find themselves off stage and D-Money will just go out there and just, he has so many options to recover and so much time that he can spend out there. Uh, and his moves have so much knockback that, my goodness, if you get hit by one of them, you're just basically boned. Like, you have yeah. no hope. So, um, up smash can't do it there. It's basically dead even right now. Yeah. It's a dead heat. Um, Fon's going with the Fon's ally special. Yeehaw, yeehaw, just yeehaw, yeehaw. Yeah, you'll see Fon's do that times where he's just like, they won't expect me to do it for a fifth time. But here yeah, I he, go. He, 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 you know, if it didn't work the first four. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to punish you for it. I mean, right. why not? And uh, there goes Bowser Jr.'s first stock. So now it's five stocks to four. Uh, but the Mo Fon's... Meanwhile, has do it. Yeah. climbed in percentage um, to equal that of uh, Kemaru. So, again, still a dead heat right here. The stage pick definitely working out. Uh, Is that going to do it, though? Yep. Oh, my gosh. There's the Fonz down there. He pioneered it, made a video and everything. And, and by pioneered, we mean he's the first one to actually make a video about it. Yeah. I mean, that's good enough. He, yeah. is, he is credit for it. But, yeah, see, that's why the, uh, the counterplay is working against him there. He, that probably wouldn't have killed on Battlefield. No, probably not. Uh, the only thing is, though, is that, you know, if you're D-Money in that situation, um, you have to try and, like, DI towards your partner so that he can come save you. And mash R. Yeah, and mash R. Unless you have air dodge set to something else weird. I don't know. Because Kamaru was trying to get over there to help because he was trying to DI out of the combo. He yeah. Just, there was no hope for Kamaru to get over there. A little bit of a misplay there by Kamaru. I think he was expecting um, for Marshall to be in the range of that. D-Money already at kill percent yet again. Yeah, unfortunately for Bowser Jr., that Koopa card kind of gives him a big body. And, and like uh, on a stage like this, it's kind of hard for him to get down without yeah. getting passed around. Marshall is still looking very healthy with two stocks. Oh yeah, he, he definitely does cardio. Okay. You no, know, he doesn't he doesn't skip workouts. Works hard eats, right? Calyx cross the clicks. So uh down still three stocks of for blue team. I mean there's this is looking pretty much in their favor. It's, it's similar, but I mean, we've, we've seen Kamaru pull off some pretty crazy stuff now and then um, with his, uh, you know, his forehead spike. So if he can get a quick one here, maybe they can still bring it back. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was expecting another down beat, but there goes so Bowser Jr. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. That, that's a quick 20 and a handshake. Yeah. I mean, 
Team Money and Kim Maru never came before, so like no, and and they, and they looked good. Like when we, me and Dr. K Blaze played them, um, it looked very strong. Um, I was excited to see uh, them together, and it's something that I'm excited to see in the future. I think I think Team what would, it, would it be K Money now. Team Maru. Team Maru or yeah. K Money. K Money. Oh, I like K Money better. Yeah, yeah. K Money is better. Yeah, 